our new quest for discipline. Um, I was well, just wondering if um, you, uh, do you feel that inside you there is... Um, I don't feel inside me as much as possible. I avoid feeling inside me at every, like that. that's just to be avoided. So is that something that you reserve for others? Feeling inside them? <laughs> no, feeling inside you. No, no. I, I, well, I mean, it, it's not like there's been a lot of demand. So I, Hold on. Oh, good, good. And we're, okay, this is, so I'm doing, um, I'm taking questions about, I'm ma asking everyone if they have inside themselves a master and a slave. Mm -hmm. I think I do. And is it two separate people or is it, this? some people are like, oh, it's the same person. Um, I don't know, actually. I definitely notice when when they're like interplaying and when they're separate. Surely people are um, curious about what it's like to be Mike. Shockingly, no. There's, there's been very little interest in that subject and, uh, you know, I've adapted. So what about, do you find that you have um, a master-slave um, kind of um, dichotomy inside of you, inside your psyche? No idea. I mean, honestly, no idea. How do you, is there, do you ever not want to do something that you need to do? Uh, as, a, that I need to do as a matter of my own uh, volition? Or I need to do as a matter of an external contingency? Um, who, ha who has been the biggest uh, whip cracker here at the Worcester Group in your experience? Oh. Uh, maybe uh, it's not a, not a PC term. Who's the been the you know who's been uh, just whipping people? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't really know what goes on at all hours here, uh, but um, uh, well, um, I mean, I would imagine the uh, Andrew. Yeah, Andrew. Who, who's whipped you the most around here? Around here? Um, probably myself. I probably whipped myself the most out of anyone while I've been here. Is it Liz? Well, I guess she would be the obvious person. Of course. But Liz says she has no discipline. Yeah, I figured that's how this got inspired for the day. Uh, you can call Mike back, by the way. You can interview him as well. Um, uh, yeah, she says that about herself, but herself... She sa she's saying that about herself as a performer, which she is in the piece they're rehearsing downstairs. Uh, uh, I don't think she really thinks that of herself as a director. No, I think... I don't think at all. She has phenomenal self-discipline. Um, I find it very inspiring, actually. But uh, I suppose Liz would be at the top of the list of, uh, you know, uh, people who are, would be saying, gotta get it done, gotta, yeah. But she's, I don't feel like we really have that relationship much, come to think of it. There's certainly, who, who's, the big, is there, who's the biggest whip cracker? The biggest whip cracker is I might be I might be Clay. No, because it's not Liz. Because no, because Liz is going to do whatever she wants to do all the time. And 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 she doesn't make you do it. You're either there or you're not there. You're either along with her or she'll just leave or you're not there. You choose. To, to be cracked by her whip, but she doesn't. Right. You have to. You have right. To, you have to be self, self-enforcing. You have to serve her. You have to serve her. You serve yourself. You have to motivate yourself. You have to be a self-starter to to do that. But uh, but that's why. That's why the hierarchy doesn't really work around here because most of it is about self-starting, and. Oh, <laughs>
I mean, you know. This was, you're like, yeah, this is really. We all want to have fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all want it to be like nice and cool and good. And but sometimes. <laughs>